Hi, my name's Lisa, and I'm the mom of Simple Suburban Living, and today we're going to be learning the double crochet stitch, um, and we're also going to be starting an infinity scarf. It's a really nice, simple project um, that requires the double crochet stitch. I think you're really going to like it. I've made them for family members as gifts. Um, and then we're going to learn how to work in some different colors into your project as well. So, to get started with the infinity scarf, um, you're going to need a chain of 60 inches long. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started with the double crochet stitch. And the stitch actually starts with the fourth chain in. The first chain is on your hook, and you've got two, three, four. So we're actually going to start right here, but before we insert our crochet hook, we are going to yarn over it, and insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, so that you have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over again, and pull the yarn just through those first two loops, we're going to yarn over again and pull your yarn through the last two loops. And there is the first double crochet stitch. And here you can kind of see why we went into that fourth chain because this is a very pretty tall stitch. Okay, I'm going to show you that again. We're going to yarn over. And instead of skipping chains, we're just going to go right into the next chain and you're going to yarn over so that you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both. And I'll show you that one more time. Yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over again and pull through. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over again, and pull through those two. This is a very nice tall stitch. It helps you get your projects done quicker. And I'm going to go ahead and finish double crocheting this first chain row. Um, it'll take some time, it's a 60 inch chain, and I'll meet you back before I finish up this first row. Okay, now I've made it to the end of my row. I just have a couple more stitches to do. And I'll show you again where we end off. Yarn over. Uh, this will be this chain here, right before the slip knot, is the last stitch you are going to do. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, now we're ready to turn our work, but before we do, we're going to chain three. And I'll show you why in just one second why we do that. Okay, then we chain three. And then we're going to turn our work. And now after you've chained three, at the end of the first row, you will yarn over your hook for another double crochet stitch. And you're going to insert your hook underneath those top two loops now from here on out um, into this stitch here. You don't have to skip anything because you chain three before you turn to your work. Yarn over, pull through, so that extra three chains turns out really nice. We'll do one more.
you're going to continue your double crochet stitch to the end of this row. I'm going to shut off the camera and I'll meet you back at the end of this row where we'll learn how to weave in a different color. Okay, I'm at the end of my second row and I have actually have one more double crochet stitch to make. Um, when I do that, I'm going to show you how to weave in a new color. This infinity scarf has six rows. Um, you can actually make it as wide as you want to, but uh, I've chosen six double crochet rows wide. I'm going to go with three colors, so two rows of gray, two rows of hot pink, and two rows of black. Now, to weave in a new color, you're going to start a double crochet stitch. And remember, we want to go um, into this chain stitch here. Yarn over. And we're going to yarn over again and pull through those first two loops. Now, when I have two loops on my hook is when I'm going to want to start in the new color. Here's my hot pink. And what I like to do is leave a tail eh, about that long. That might actually be a little bit too long. About four to five inches. And what I do is I yarn over and then I pull through. And then I'm going to tighten that up. And with those two, with the two colors, I'm actually going to tie a knot right here. And I'm just going to tie a knot, just a regular old knot, tie it nice and snug. You'll see we have our new hot pink color. You're going to chain three before you turn your work. and turn your work. And then I'm, again, I'm going to do two rows of hot pink and then another two rows of black. And then I will be joining the ends of the scarf, taking my ends to weave in and actually stitch the ends together. And that's it for this infinity scarf. Super easy, super fun great gift to give to your family.